At the University of California, Berkeley, hunting for aliens is a full-time job for the group known as SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. In 2015, Russian billionaire Yuri Milner launched the Breakthrough Listen program with a $100 million donation and a touch of this button. The idea here is that if, if it did actually operate, this would be the antenna that would send the signal to the telescope. Breakthrough Listen uses telescopes from Northern California, Australia and West Virginia to search the universe for radio and laser signals, potential indicators of technology from advanced civilizations. Now, researchers here are thrilled that they've signed an agreement with the National Astronomical Observatory of China to use southern China's new fast radio telescope. It's the largest single-dish radio telescope on the entire planet. It's able to detect weaker signals than any other telescope. And we're very excited to, to use that telescope when it eventually comes online uh, for searches for extraterrestrial intelligence. And this is SETI's Radio Astronomy Digital Lab. It's here where they build the instrumentation that allows them to conduct the world's most sophisticated search for life beyond our planets. One target of interest is Tabby's star. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope recently found that the star displayed dips in brightness, in one case by more than 20 percent. And astronomers all over the world have been struggling to try to come up with an explanation. Now one explanation, although very, very speculative, is that perhaps that dip is being caused by a large artificial structure, uh, a technological structure that's orbiting around the star. We recently looked at it with the Green Bank Telescope. But the Green Bank Telescope is only 100 meters in diameter. The FAST telescope is 500 meters in diameter, and that means that it's about 20 times more sensitive. And should a sign from ET ever be found, a million-dollar competition breakthrough message will soon be launched. A reward will go to whoever develops the best digital message for humanity to send to an alien intelligence. We're listening, uh, and we're also planning uh, what we might say if, if we hear something. Why do you think this search is worth all the time, money, and energy? The presence of intelligent life in the universe is the most interesting property of the universe. It is the most profound question we can ask as human beings or as scientists. And if, as a civilization, we have the capacity to try and answer that question, uh, we ought to do it. Mark New, Berkeley, California.